1920s when liquor was illegal. <laughs> go. Go! Motherfucker, go! <laughs> if you are the liquor dude, gangsters come after you. <laughs> Motherfucker! Now that liquor is legal, if you rob the liquor dude, police come after you. In the 1990s, when we was illegal, take up the back. Hey! Get the fuck on the fucking ground, bitch! I'm not fucking with you! But if you rob the weed dude, gangs just come after you. Hey, hey everybody! Now that weed is legal, <laughs> Hey, everybody! Pretty please, can you just get the fuck on the ground? Thank you so much! Not you, get up! If you rob the weed dude, <laughs> police come after you! <laughs> so, capitalism necessitates unemployment and poverty, which necessitates illegal business. The regulation of which is what causes violence. How do you tell the whole working class that poverty and violence are necessitated by capitalism without them deciding to get rid of capitalism? You don't. You tell them poverty is due to bad choices of those impoverished. How do you tell the whole working class that their economic situation is due to their poor choices? You don't. You tell them that it's the other that's making bad choices. That it's the culture of the other that causes this. You do this via the news, sitcoms, cop shows, and superhero shows. Even when they're smart enough to hide their point. This causes part of the working class even the so-called others to identify with the ruling class. A group of us are trying to change this whole thing. If you wanted to stop so-called crime and the violence that grows from it, you'd be a revolutionary, but you're not. You're a tool that helps capitalism run smoothly, a system that creates poverty and the crime and violence necessitated by it. Man, lock yourself up. <laughs>